Well, exciting times if you're a Mizuno fan. The new Mizuno driver has landed, and I'm going to test it out. So the uh, 230 and the 220, uh, beautiful looking drivers. I'm going to give them a hit. So the STZ and the STX. Uh, the STZ, slightly open, fade bias driver, probably the heavier hitter driver. The center of gravity is a little lower and further back, low spin. Uh, you still get stability with it, but a little bit lower spin, sits a little bit open. Uh, you got the hosel adjustability, I'll put some photos of that in as well. Um, and then you got the balanced carbon composite sole, so the weight gets distributed around. So uh, it's pretty cool. The STX, deeper face, higher launching, it sits a bit square, it's set up for my first look. Uh, if you struggle with the one that goes uh, for a right hander, a little bit to the right, a little bit draw bias, that's really going to help you there. So uh, taller and deeper face, same thing with the sole, we've got the carbon sole. Uh, as I said, I'm going to put some pictures in there for that as well. Uh, I'm going to give it a bit of a go. I'm going to chuck my shaft in it. We're going to hit off Trackman 4. I'm going to be using the uh, Pro V1 RCT ball here indoors. So everything's really, really accurate. We're going to see how it goes. One take. That's my rule. Hope everything's well. Okay, hope everybody's well. Um, as you said, saw from the intro, uh, I'm going to try the new... STZ STX driver from Mizuno. Pretty exciting looking driver. Uh, I've just got the uh, STX at the moment, so that's a, a weights further back. Uh, it's more of a draw bias head. So if you struggle with the ball leaking to the right, this is probably the driver you'd want to go to, I would say, straight away. I've got it in 9.5, is what I play with my driver. I've got the uh, Graphite Design Tour AD uh, X Flex, which I use. Uh, I'm using the Titleist RCT ball and my Trackman 4. Now, uh, before I go on, make sure you subscribe to the page uh, and hit the bell so you get the notification every time uh, I do one of these videos. Uh, it really helps the page and uh, the feedback's always welcome. So, here we go. I'm going to hit four or five balls um, with each driver. We're going to see what it does. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a chat about it um, and we'll go from there. So, first impressions is this driver here. You can see, for me, I look down at it, it's, it's quite a long driver. It looks uh, quite forgiving. Beautiful striking blue on the bottom. Uh, so I'm always interested to see how they go indoors, and especially I'm interested to see what the sound's like. Uh, you would have seen from my ping review that the sound was really dead. I really enjoyed the sound on the ping driver. It wasn't quite loud. So I'm interested to see how this goes. It's definitely a higher pitch sound than the, uh, and the ping driver, uh, I just hit that outside the bay a little bit, but I will get that back in. Here we go. So it's a little bit higher. Definitely louder uh, than the ping driver. Nice hard feel in the driver. That didn't turn over. They went pretty straight uh, that time. Uh, it's a firm feel um, and uh, to my driver that I use. Um, so definitely a firmer feel. Comes off pretty strong. That went 265 total ball speed launch. Spin rate wasn't too bad. Didn't feel like it hit that any good at all, to be honest. No, uh, very straight, so it's obviously a quite a forgiving driver. That's a little better, so we got a bit more ball speed on that. Oh my goodness, that is so straight. So that's not turning over at all for, all for me. 278 total. Uh, I'm pretty happy that spin rate's quite low and um, I would expect the more forgiving driver uh, to spin a little bit more than that so that's probably the biggest surprise so far yeah, that, that shot I hit pretty good but my god they're dead straight absolutely dead straight on that one so very forgiving so if your person really struggles hitting the ball in the middle or getting it straight yeah this feels great so I started to warm up it. Dead straight again. Wow. That's brilliant. Two thirds, that is brilliant. Um, that's hardly moved in the air. Uh, for, for a draw bias driver, I would expect that to move a little bit right to left. I guess my natural shot that I like to play is a little left to right, so being draw bias, it's definitely straighten that out. Get one more. that very good that's interesting wow that is super forgiving 
super straight. Look at that. I didn't hit that very well at all. So hit that a bit high in the face. So that is uh, absolutely brilliant. It's not spinning at all. Dead straight. Um, I, you know, I haven't missed a fairway yet. So um, well done, Mizuno, on this. That is. But it's doing exactly what they're talking about. Really forgiving. You can see the weight is all the way back in this driver. I'll give it one more hit. So I'll really wind up on this and give as much as I can. Be a bit reckless with it. Huh. That's a good driver. STX. Draw bias. Uh, I'm not sure if it is draw bias, but I had a little fade, but I'm just saying that because every one of those went dead straight. That last one, 285, 260 carry, ball speed's high, launch good, spins low. Brilliant. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the STZ goes. Little fade bias. For me, I hit it left or right, so I would expect that, it, yeah, that driver I'm gonna hit a little bit further to the right. We'll give it a go. I'll change it over now, change the shaft, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've changed over the heads now. I've got the STZ, or if you're watching from the States, like I know a lot of you do, the Z. Uh, it's a little bit smaller head. Uh, I look down on it. You can definitely see it's a little bit smaller than the STX. Uh, the STX, what a great driver that was. That was unbelievable. So I'm interested to see how this goes. This is more of a, it sits straight on the ground, but uh, it's not gonna draw as much. So we'll give it, give it a go. I've got my shaft in it again, RCT ball. Uh, we'll see how we go. Straight out of the heel. That was horrendous. Okay, so there you go. Low in the face, high spinning, no surprise. Um, that's probably where I need the uh, the SCX you know, on that one. But uh, went 250. I don't think it's a fair reflection of the driver. A little better. Here we go. We'll see that. That's been a little draw. Spins come down. 280. Oh, that's that's a little longer than I normally hit. I'm sort of a 275 guy when I hit it. So uh, 280 is pretty good. That popped out pretty good. Overall height's pretty good. Launch is good. Ball speed's good. Clubhead speed 108. That's pretty much me standing at 108. If I get a run up, I can get to 110. So hit that high out of the right, little draw, what's it about, he's that forgiving. So I didn't hit that as good, hit that quite high in the face, you can see that there, but I think what's important to see is that it's really, really straight. So no one hits the ball in the middle of the face all the time, and I think it's a really good story if you can get a driver that's really forgiving, because uh, we want to get the thing on the fairway, all right? So yeah, definitely spun a little bit more, ball speed was down, See if I can hit a couple of decent ones. Being a bit unfair on this drawer at the moment. That feels better. There we go. Pretty good. 273. So it's interesting. I think the STX, uh, although it's a draw by driver, I thought it performed really well for me. I guess that's because I hit a little bit left to right, but it's sort of turn it over, seem to square up a lot, it's very, very forgiving. So, boat drive is very forgiving. I haven't really hit a good one yet. With this, I uh, hit one good one that went 280, but that was low on the face, and that's what spun a little bit more, but tell you what, they're a super forgiving driver. Yeah, nice feel. Nice feel, so there you go, 275, that's my, pretty much my standard. I think the biggest thing Mizuno have missed in the past is having a really good quality driver. I think we all remember that electric blue driver they had. Uh, it was an absolute horrible looking thing, but uh, you either loved it or you hated it. But I think with this, it sits really good on the ground. They've always sat good on the ground. The carbon in the top, it's a really clean looking driver. I think it's the, uh, the last Everest for Mizuno. I think they've got the irons, they need to get the driver, and I think this is getting pretty close to where they need to go. They're gonna get more guys on tour using it. You'll probably have more guys having a full bag, so. Definitely a huge jump forward with this driver. I think this is as good as any other driver on the market. And I think that's the first time you can honestly say that about a Mizuno driver.
Yeah, I like it. So I'm starting to get used to it now. So it's not too bad. All right, it's not too bad. I think um, I think if I was fitting myself, I'd probably end up in the X. I hit the X a lot straighter. But uh, you know, but you know that's why it's important to get fitted. It's interesting. I'd never put myself in the X, but I seem to hit a little bit better than the Z. So I'll hit one more. Go. I'll finish on that one. That's a good one. 280 is good for me. You know, just a finishing great driver. Obviously, not as forgiving as the X, um, but sits really good on the ground. Certainly going to suit a player. So it's, it's no good having a driver that, you know, two drivers that do two different things. That you know, you, you want to make sure that you can fit yourself into a driver. It's got the adjustable hosel. It's a really cool tech story with this. Uh, I definitely suggest you get out and hit them. They're brilliant. Um, this is as good as any other any other driver on the market. Well done, Mizuno. Uh, the, one of the best things about Mizuno is you get the upgrade shafts. It's all included, uh, so you, you're never going to get that nasty surprise when you you get fitted for a driver and then all of a sudden they go, oh, but if you like this shaft, it's going to cost you some extra dollars. So Mizuno don't do that, and I think that's a really really good thing they do. So uh, check it out. Once again, hit me with some comments. I might need a lesson 